Hey guys, so I'm here to um, show you a quick tutorial on how to take out lens flares. Um, I already have one video up um, and somebody commented and said that they were having a hard time using that technique in areas that had more detail rather than doing them in smooth areas. So I thought I'd do um, a new video um, and I'm going to try to update this channel more and more. Um, so comment below with um, your thoughts on this video or if there's something that you'd like to see a tutorial on. Um, I'm looking for different ideas from um, people. So um, let's go ahead and dive in today. So I did have this really crazy red flare off to the one side of this photo. Um, so I want to show you guys some quick techniques um, to use on your own photos to take out uh, flares and problem areas. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is let's break this up into a color and a lightness and darkness problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a hue and saturation layer. Go to new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. We'll call this temporary black and white. Okay, I'm going to turn down the saturation all the way down. And this just lets us see that mainly this flare is much more of a color problem. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is use two curves layers to kind of dodge and burn um, some of the different um, lightness and darkness problems that are going on in here. So let's go to layer, new adjustment layer, go to curves, and call this darken. Real quickly, we'll just make a point somewhere in the middle, drag it down further than we need to do. Hit, click on your mask and hit command I. Make the mask black. We're going to do the same thing, do a curves layer, but this time we're going to push this in the other way. Um, I live in Brooklyn. It's impossible to make a video without somebody else's music ending up in the background. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get upset about licensing for that. Um, let's do lighten there. So now we have two different layers. Mainly we're just going to use the, um, the darkening one. So put white and black as your foreground by hitting D on your keyboard. Um, and then X will flip your palette. So you'll see over here, black to white, black to white. And I'm just going to paint white on my darkening mask right here. We're just going to paint. I'm painting it like 4%. Let's go ahead and do something more like 10%. You can hit 1 on your keyboard to do that. And we're really just trying to ease the transition that that flare caused, where you can see it goes dark here and that starts to get you know, white and faded. We're going to deal with some of the contrast problems later, so really just work on trying to get it a smooth transition from um, dark to light. Um, and this area down here is kind of bothering me too, which is probably not exactly from the flare, but it's still kind of trying to make this area just less noticeable to the viewer that there was something wrong with the photo there before. Um, and ironically, I actually like the, the flares in this photo, but I needed to find one that was um, something over in a little bit more complicated area than a smooth area to take these out. So let's turn this on and off. I like that, maybe a little bit more. You can do this for a lot longer than I'm going to show you in the video to get this to look a lot nicer. Okay with that. So let's turn our hue and saturation, that temporary black and white layer off. We haven't used the lightning one yet, but it's there if we need it. And let's go ahead and click on our darken layer. Actually, click on your lighten layer just in case you made any adjustments there. We want to do our color adjustments above those. So let's go ahead and go up to layer, go to new adjustment layer, selective color. Okay, click OK. And in this case, my flare is very much in the reds, but you can just play around. It's almost impossible to know whether it lands in the yellows or the greens or the blues, depending on what kind of flare you have. So just kind of play around with the sliders. You'll see that my flare changes a lot whenever I'm working on the reds. So I know that that's really where my flare is causing the most problems. So I'm going to push some cyan in there. Okay. And I actually kind of like what this does. Even though that's adding too much green, it kind of neutralizes what's going on over there. And I know this is adjusting the whole photo right now, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it a little bit more local here in just a second. These are different layers, kind of like different, um, you won't get it rid of it all in one technique. So we're using a few different ones. So let's click on our mask and hit command I. Okay. And you see it comes back because it's all black and hiding our adjustments. Let's go ahead and paint. We can paint at a higher opacity, maybe like 20% for something like this. Okay. You'll see that flare start to disappear. Okay. That gets us closer, nicer. And the last one we're going to use is we're going to make a new layer by going to layer, new adjustment, new layer, right here. 
call this hand painting. Because there's some areas where there's not uniform color and we want to be able to kind of smooth these transitions again. Um, so let's change the blend mode of that layer we just made to color. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Option or Alt if you're on a PC and sample some of the good color. And we're just going to kind of paint in areas around the transition of that flare. Okay, I'm painting at like 20%, maybe like 10% now that I'm getting closer. See some of that red start to disappear. Get some of this nice red that's kind of down in this area here. There. And like I said, guys, you know this. This you could do this for a long time, um, but you don't want to sit here and you have cooler things to do than to watch me spend the ten or twenty minutes that it might take to remove this flare completely. But you'll get some, hopefully, get some techniques um, that will help you. I think that's looking pretty good. And the last thing I want to do is that you know, like overall, this photo is kind of like warm and nice. And since we had to push some coolness into this area. Um, you know, I want to make sure that we actually keep some of the integrity of the photo. So what I really want to do now is I want to find a, a color that really matches the rest of the photo. So maybe some of them in the reds over here. And then let's just paint like one time, like low opacity. Kind of like bring things back into the realm of the rest of the photo. You're just, all you're trying to do is really just hide that there was a flare there. You don't want people looking at that area of the photo first. So I think that's starting to look pretty good. Maybe with some more of this neutral color to bring over here since it's supposed to be in the shadows. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take all those layers we just made, hold down shift so that we select all those layers, hit command G for group. And now we have an airplane in the background too. I just get it all whenever I'm filming these videos. And let's just call this flare removal. Let's turn this on and off to see how we did. So not too bad. And then you can actually take the whole opacity of this group maybe and we come back just a little bit to preserve some of the integrity of the original photo. And that's a quick way to remove flares. Hopefully you guys picked up some tips. Like I said, I'm going to be updating this um, channel more in the future. So if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, um, leave them below.